Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a Tabata workout. Um, so these are going to be really short uh, work intervals. Um, we're not going to use any weights or any equipment today. So you're just going to need a piece of uh, floor. And um, you're going to set your timers for 10 seconds of rest, 20 seconds of work for 20 rounds. Okay. So today what we're going to do is I'm going to give you five exercises and you're going to go through them four times each. All right. So first exercise is high knees. Um, if you're just starting out, you're going to be doing a march. So you're going to stand with your feet about hip width apart. Hands are going to be about uh, chest height or as high as you um, can go. Okay. You're going to lift one knee, bring it up to touch your hand and then bring it back down alternate sides okay so if you're just starting out you're just going to march in place oops for your 20 seconds of work okay the faster you go um, obviously the more difficult it becomes the more cardio uh, involvement you'll get okay uh, for those of you who are familiar with the workouts um, you're going to be doing high knees um, if you're a more advanced at a more advanced level so high knees are going to be the same concept, just faster, okay? So your hands are going to be up, and you're going to jog in place, trying to get your knees to touch your hands every time, okay? So that's your first exercise. Try and make sure that you're going through the entire 20 seconds. Try not to stop. If you have to take a breather, that's fine, but get right back at it. Second exercise is going to be ski abs. So for those of you just starting out, you're going to be on the ground, hands about shoulder width apart, okay, body line is nice and straight. You are going to step to the left, and then together, and then step back to the middle. This time to the right, and together, and back to the middle, okay? So you're just going to alternate sides. Throughout your 20 seconds of work, okay? Trying to keep moving the entire time. Next level up is the ski abs. So instead of stepping, you're gonna hop, okay? So same starting position, body line nice and straight, hop to one side, back to the middle, hop to the other side, back to the middle. So just alternate through your 20 seconds of work. Okay, third exercise is going to be jumping jacks with a twist. So if you're just starting out, um, uh, you can take the impact out of this by just doing side steps. So you're going to start with your knees slightly bent, feet about hip width apart, step out as far as you can, bring it back to the center, then step out the other direction, back to the center. Okay, and you're just going to alternate back and forth. Next level up is to do more of a hop. So you're going to do both legs at the same time. So same starting position, knees slightly bent, and you're just going to hop in and out. Okay, next level up is an actual jumping jack. So you're going to bring your arms up as your legs come out. <coughs> And then hands and feet together. Okay? So just a regular jumping jack. And then finally, more advanced level is jumping jacks with a twist. We've done this once before. Basically what you're doing is you're going knee to opposite elbow as you hop. Okay? So it's going to look like this. So you're adding a little bit of a crunch, abdominal, uh, oblique crunch in while you're doing your jumping jack. Okay, so that's your third exercise. Fourth exercise is going to be mountain climbers. So you're going to be on the ground again, hands about shoulder width apart. Okay, for those of you guys just starting out, you're going to do the same movement, um, but your feet are going to touch. So it's going to be like a step. So you're going to step forward on one side, bring it back. Step forward on the other, back. And you just alternate um, 
until your time is up. If you have a little bit more flexibility, what I want you to do is bring your knees more up the middle instead of to the side. So it's going to look like this. Once you got that down, you're going to speed it up. <laughs> All right. And then finally, the most difficult version is um, doing it without touching at the top. So it's going to look like this. And then if you speed it up, okay, so knees come up as high as you can. All right. That's your mountain climbers. Last exercises. Last exercise is uh, toe taps. So um, for this you're going to um, pick a spot on the floor and basically you want to touch that spot. So if you're just starting out you're just going to touch. Go back and forth alternating feet. Touch this spot. Okay. The faster you go the more difficult it becomes. Once you have uh, the rhythm or you want to do something with a little bit more impact, you're going to add kind of a hop. Okay, so it's going to look like this. All right, so that's your toe tap. Pretty simple. All right, so those are your five exercises. Um, again, uh, very fast workout. Try and make sure that you're working. Uh, throughout the entire 20 seconds. Um, just keep going, keep pushing yourself, um, and hopefully you'll see that this is a, a pretty good workout. All right. Obviously, the, the harder you push, the faster you do the exercises, uh, the more difficult it is. So good luck.